Welcome back to our employer highlight series. I'm Joe Rollins with the Northwest Arkansas Council, and today I have some very special guests. Today we're talking about tech talent development. And as Northwest Arkansas strives to truly become a tech hub for this part of the country and for the world, for that matter, we keep hearing this re-emerging theme of data science is embedded in all of the aspects of IT tech talent. I'd like to really build an awareness of what is data science. And to do that, I've got some guests with me today. I've got GB Kaz, and I've got Dr. Carl Schubert to help tell that story. So GB, help me understand, what is data science? So data science is really spans all industries, all companies. Uh, it's how companies use their data to make decisions, uh, is, at the, uh, is my definition of the most basic core. But you know, Carl, why don't you kind of be the more scientific, but what is data science to you? Well, data science to me is, is finding a way to get business value out of data that you have available to you. And it's usually solving a business need of some kind, even if you're talking about something medical uh, or, or about people, it's still a business need. So solving a business need, getting insights, and then making recommendations on how to act on, on those insights. Are you seeing um, data science in any one specific sector, or, is, or does it really span kind of all sectors? It spans all sectors. I, I have yet to find one where it doesn't apply. In fact, we started out with uh, three concentrations and ended up with 12 when we finished our program. What are some of those concentrations? Bioinformatics, accounting informatics, uh, business data analytics, computational analytics, social data analytics, um, biomedical and healthcare informatics. And I'm going to probably miss some data science statistics, supply chain analytics. Uh, so I, across healthcare, yeah. finance, <laughs> Um, transportation, logistics, retail, geospatial, people—the you know the messy human data. We like to say. Okay, so so we talk about what is, uh, what is data science. Who is a data scientist? Ah, uh, there's someone who who's very curious about what they can find out from something. They've almost a little bit of the Sherlock Holmes type. I really want to know, but I can figure it out once I get my hands on it. Is there different types of data scientists? Oh yes, all types. There. There, if you go back to our concentrations, there's somewhat of the idea of I care about the human aspect or I care about the abstract aspect about it or I care about the where aspect of it or the justice aspect of it. It's all combinations. Does, does the different combinations attract different types of students? What's your student makeup look like? Very much so. In fact, we think that's one of the strengths. Our, our student makeup, because, because we have that broad range of interest, uh, we're we're about forty percent women. Wow. Uh, we're about fifteen percent first generation. We're about forty percent honor students, um, and we're about twenty five percent what we call six semester plan students. And those are ones who've transferred from other colleges or universities or other majors in the university. What's your biggest advice for a student uh, who's in high school or middle school? Two things in particular. Number one is. When you're given the chance to take calculus or not, in high school, take calculus. That's number one. Um, number two is if, if you're in Arkansas and you have the chance to take the data science path in the computer science program, take the data science path. I think that, that we would. And, and learn how to be inquisitive. And, and don't be frustrated by not finding the answer at first. Continue to pursue. So be okay with failure. Be okay with failure. Accept the fact that you're probably going to have to pivot a few times. And, uh, and, you know, that's a, that's a good thing. And get comfortable working on what we call open-ended problems. That is, you don't know what the answer is going to be. There's, there could be more than one answer. And learn how to work on a team. What makes your program different than other data science programs? We started with the workforce needs. So we early on, right away, started um, a data science advisory council that includes executives uh, from companies all across the state, obviously from our, our three major or four major employers uh, in, the North, in Northwest Arkansas, but also some mid-range companies and startup and interviewed them about what they needed. And then all along the way, as we developed our outcomes and our courses and, had our, and, and everything, we had our instructors even present to the advisory council what we were doing for the courses and got the feedback from it. So it's very integrated into what we do. And we even have um, our, our corporations around and companies around guest lecture in our first year classes to provide real world, real data problems for our students. So would you say your, your course is, your, the development of your program is industry driven? Absolutely. And I think the proof of that is that we've been able to have even first year students get internships 
in companies. And certainly by the second year, anyone who wants an internship has been able to get one. So if I'm an employer Mm -hmm. and I understand I have data needs, I might even need a data scientist or even more important, if I'm a student who's watching this today, Mm -hmm. wanting to learn more about the program, how can I connect with you to learn more? Ah, well, first thing is go to our website and go to datascience.uark.edu, and you'll see information about our program. And then once you've seen that, you can email us or email me and and my uh, and the staff we have at uh, datasci, D-A-T-A-S-C-I, uh, at uark.edu. I know there are projects, there are programs trying to build awareness even earlier in our grade levels. I mm-hmm. think that's fantastic. The earlier we can expose students to data science, to computer science, to IT needs. Absolutely. I think that's going to strengthen us as a region. It so is. If you're watching today, if you've learned information that you like, if you'd like more information, Dr. Schubert gave you that contact information. As always, we encourage you to take a look at careersnwa.com for all of our region's career postings. Dr. Schubert, GB, thank you for joining us for this series. We hope to see you for the next one soon.